Now, one revision tip that you've no doubt heard probably too often is this one. Delete redundant words. Unfortunately, that advice is usually given without huh? the other advice that helps you identify exactly what words are redundant and what aren't. Happy to oblige. The first category is words that work well in speech, but they become redundant when they're written. And I want you to keep in mind that it's natural for us to use double words in speech to emphasize our, our point. As a matter of fact, that's why we say bye-bye instead of just bye. Okay, so here's an example from academic writing. The professor's instructions were full and complete. Okay, sounds great, but what's the difference between full and complete? One or the other will do just fine in the kind of colder, more analytic world of writing. Same for this sentence. The academic library offered various and sundry articles on the European Renaissance. It just so happens that sundry literally means a variety. So when it's written, various and sundry, it's redundant. However, various and sundry is a speech idiom that's been around for decades, and it is perfectly fine for speech, but not in writing. Sometimes the doubling or the redundancy is implied in the word choice. For example, Gore-Tex fabric has completely revolutionized cold weather sports. Completely is actually implied in the word choice revolution, which means uh, fundamental or sweeping changes. But again, saying completely revolutionized, that serves as well as an intensifier in speech. Here's another one. Each individual fill in the blank. That is one that is often used in academic writing especially. But again, it just doesn't work that well in writing. Each individual student must submit a copy of the presentation that is redundant. Because the word each refers to individual members of a group. So one of those two words, each individual, has got to go. You can either say each student or individual students. Finally, I want to look at this category of redundancy. And this is one that is important, especially in the revision process, because it involves our sentence's grammar. For instance, uh, in the sentence, when tame animals are cornered, they can be dangerous. The pronoun they really does extend the sentence unnecessarily and I think dilutes its impact. When you could write, when cornered, tame animals can be dangerous. That's much stronger because it is not diluted or strung out by that unneeded pronoun. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you want more of these 10 tips, please check out this playlist and it will give you access to all 10. Okay, see you in the next video.